Hi, my name is Ryan and in this video we'll be creating this knockout text effect where the background has been clipped in order to take the shape of the text. So let's go to our HTML file and start working on it. In my HTML file, all I need is the h1 tag and I'll add in a name. I'll also insert a br tag so that each of this name is displayed on a separate line. And that's all we need for the HTML. Now let's go to our CSS file. The first thing I'm going to do is, I'll give the body a background color of black. Now let's style the h1 tag. I'll choose the color white. I'll set the font family to Arial. I'll increase the font size to 15VW. In this case, the text is always going to take 15% of the viewport width even if you resize the browser. Next, let's align the text to the center. I'll set the text transform to uppercase. Now, let's add in a background image. I'll say URL. I'll choose an image which I've already saved in my same folder where I have saved the HTML and the CSS file. And next, I'm going to say background size, go to cover. Now, in order to give it the knockout text effect, we need to use two different properties. The first one is text fill color and the second is background clip. However, for these two properties to work in your browser, you need to use the WebKit vendor prefix. So let's do that. I'll say WebKit text fill color and set its value to transparent. Now that the text is transparent, you can't see it. Finally, we'll use the background clip property and set its value to text. And now the background image has been clipped to fill in the text. Let me resize the browser. And here you have it, the knockout text effect. It was quite simple. And that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a nice day. Bye-bye.